when you saw him bat, even if you were on the field, uh, you know, you actually enjoyed, enjoyed watching him bat, although it was at your team's expense uh, because your bowlers were suffering at his hands. But the, the elegance, the class of, of the man also made you enjoy. What you, what you try and do in cricket is you also try and learn from your opponents. You try and learn from your opponents how they play so that you can try and bring that into your game to make your game better. And what you could see from Zaheer, from Zed, was his hunger for big runs. He was never happy with just a 50 or a 100. He wanted to score a double. He wanted to go more than that. And, uh, you know, that's the one thing that, you know, struck you about uh, Zed. He was absolutely brilliant, fantastic uh, to watch. I'm, I'm very happy to call him my, my friend uh, because, you know, he, he entered the Indian cricket team's hearts uh, uh, even before India and Pakistan played against each other. Uh, in 1971, he had already scored that 274 against England. And then India were playing uh, England and they were chasing 170 to win on, at the Oval on the, on, the, on the fourth day. And Zaheer, who was in London, came into the Indian change room. Those days you were allowed to come. Today the anti-corruption security, etc. doesn't allow anybody else to come into the change room. But Zed came into the Indian change room and wished the Indian team well. And I think that no, no Indian player who was in that particular party has ever forgotten that, that gesture of Zed to come in to the Indian change room and, and, and to wish the Indian team well. And thereafter, of course, a few months down the road, we were, we were together as part of the rest of the world that toured Australia. And again, I think that's where I think our friendship flowered. Our friendship is still there every time we bump into each other. I mean, it's a great joy to uh, to catch up with him whenever whenever we get the opportunity uh, to to do so. And you called him uh, the the Asian Bradman. I, I've got to you know just to digress a little bit. I've got to go back to that 1971 tour um, in uh, where the rest of the world toured Australia. And uh, we were in those days. You landed on the tarmac. You got off on the tarmac, up the aero bridges, and no other. A person that the great Sir Don Bradman came to receive the rest of the world team at the Adelaide airport. And so he came and he was talking to me and he was talking to Zed. He was just talking to the two of us. And then Rohan Kanai or Gary Sobat, I don't remember who, uh, looked at uh, looked at us and gathered the rest, the, the other members of the world team and said, hey, 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 have a look, have a look. There is the Bombay Bradman, there is the Karachi Bradman and there is the real Bradman. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I mean, that, 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 was, that was how it was. It was, it was great fun. It was great fun. Uh, and uh, I'm so happy that, uh, you know, Zed is uh, inducted into the ICC Cricket Hall of Fame. Congratulations, my friend. Very, very happy to have uh, uh, you in this Hall of Fame. And may God bless you.